All right, guys, welcome back to another game from Second Wind 5. I'm Vincent Kirkov, and with me today is... Nate Horn. All right, and we're just going through uh, the Second Wind 5 games, and we're casting over top of them. This game is between Jacob Frelinger and Graham. It is a CS mirror, and it appears to be a kingpin mirror. All kinds of fun here. It lo What are our... What are our crises here, Nate? Do you have them up? Uh, yeah, in the other tab. We are doing cube and infinity formula. So this oh. will be a high power game. <laughs> so much power. Uh, is this the exact mirror? No. No. There's a killmonger on the left. And a beta ray uh, bill on the right. Graham has priority. Mm. Okay. So that's uh, why he's favoring Bill here. He's going for the eyes play on the center cube. Yep. And Jacob recognizing he doesn't need an eyes play and is picking up a model that actually does shit instead. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. Uh, wild how similar the lists are, but also like every mirror is weird. The Kingpin mirror is also very strange because it's like almost you don't have a leadership, like you get half of one. Yeah, you, you're like once you need to do some murder and then you get a leadership. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, uh, no. Murder doesn't change I... whether you get a leadership or not. Uh Oh, right, because they wouldn't <laughs> count anyways. Yeah. Uh, You just have the passing around part, essentially. Yes. And you counter their leadership, whereas if you play one of the other things, you give them the full kingpin leadership on a kingpin scenario, probably. Does Graham uh, have a second leader in his list? I don't believe so. And I think Frelinger is no. on... Is he on Daredevil? I know he hates all of them. Yes, he has a Daredevil. Okay. But I know that Frelinger hates all the CS leaders that aren't Kingpin, so I'm not totally shocked to see this be just a Kingpin mirror. Yeah, I'm not either. Um, is there anything you would change about these guys' lists while we watch them deploy? Um, I pull up two nearly identical lists. I don't think so. Yeah, uh, I think Rhino's better here over Gwenpool. Yep. Because you don't want to be priced into just having to murder your way through a Kingpin team. You want some seals. So mm -hmm. both teams having Rhino and Black Hat makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, I really like Killmonger, uh, just in general and in Kingpin. Uh. Uh, but, like, I understand Graham wants an eyes play, though. I like both of those choices for the scenarios they're on. Um, do you think you need the eyes play? Do you think he poses enough threat? I think it's kind of like a free roll, especially on cubes, where Bill can have three power on turn two and he does it. That, well, like, I mean, as opposed to, I like, just do it. I mean, couldn't you just, like pick this up with some other character, hope to get away with it, and then just have another tactics card and, like, Spider-Woman? The hope to get away with it plan is kind of rough when there's a Rhino. I mean, it's just... Like, like Rhino, walk yeah. up, punch you, deal a damage, take it from you. I guess Doesn't feel true. great. No, I I would be Ising here. Okay. Oh, this is going to be an extra fun game for you and I to cast because uh, whoever the TO was that set up this <laughs> table in the recording setup uh, did not remind the players to not move the scoreboard. So I have no idea where they're tracking score, but, but it's not on our screen. Don't worry. we uh, They moved the chess clock over here. So now we can see the chess clock. We just <laughs> still can't see what numbers are on the chess clock. When we did this at CarlCon, we taped the scoreboard to the table so people wouldn't move it around, and that was great because multiple people tried to and then realized they couldn't. So pro tip for next year, tape the scoreboard where you want it. Yeah, I definitely would do a bunch of things about like different setups, and I would mix up top table a bunch. But also, yeah. you know, recording's just not... I'm glad we have these now that I got my arm twisted into this, but this was never part of the plan. Like, I'm... Yeah, no, this so is very things. last minute. I was supposed to bring equipment to help and did not. So uh, some of these complaints are also on me as well. And then just 
uh, wasn't in TO mode at the time because a bunch of these things that I learned at CarlCon I did not <laughs> share with you because I'm a jerk, so. Yeah. Uh, it looks like we just got Bullseye coming up, grabbing a hammer, hanging out on the point. Classic Cube. Bullseye things. What do you think about this large refused flank coming out of Jacob? Uh, we'll see if he actually refuses or not. Uh, but it kind of makes sense with how much of a pain the giant size five would be to work around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also think that maybe, I wonder if he can get away with it or not with, uh, Bill, you know, like moving more, there's like more points on the top half of the board than there are on the bottom half of the board. Yeah. I don't think he can, but like also this is infinity formula and they're both playing potatoes. So like nobody's making attacks or doing interesting things. Turn one. So mm -hmm. like if Killmonger has to double move to go stand next to bullseye, you don't give up anything, right? You can actually just like deploy all five of his models in the middle of the board and not make any choices until the turn has actually started because no one has any guns. Yeah. And KM really wants to get that extra power rolling as fast as he can, so I'm not sure where he's going to take him. He can, he has his choice of targets. He has three separate usurp targets. I assume usurps in here. Can't imagine why you would play. It, it better be, yeah. yeah. I can't imagine why you play Killmonger in CS without it. All right, this double walk KP with a pickup. Love, love Jacob's cards here. These altars oh, are the, very the rare. Zach art, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, listeners, if you uh, didn't know, uh, Zach Cohen was commissioned to do custom art for all of Jacob's cards, and he drew glorious, glorious stick figures. <laughs> they came out really well. I do. I think they're really funny. Uh, I think the only thing I would add if we did it again is like just a splash of color, especially on some of the characters who have a defining color, you know, like just make Rhino gray a little bit. And then it's, I noticed across the table, it was a little tricky to see who was who just a little mm -hmm. bit. And I think just like some very basic color blocking would, could go a long way to help that out. Yeah. But also Frelinger's stuff is all painted. Like it's <laughs> like, it's an army. <laughs> I do really like Pat's idea of starting to play shield and playing all the iron men and then painting them all the same. So you can't tell who's who. Uh, we really just get to vamp for time on this first turn. Don't we? Yeah, we just sure do. Models walking to infinity formulas and them deciding who's going to take what flank. Uh, Bullseye grab the cube up top. Uh, so black cat can be free to roam about and steal a cube, which makes sense. Uh, I expect rams rhino to just kind of move to the forward edge of his point mm -hmm. but i guess we'll see i mean he has priority so he has to think about what does he want to do with priority uh and he's oh. measuring stuff for and she, oh that was he walked around the table i was like whose arms are that? oh he's thinking about <laughs> double longing his black cat to that point so that was, I was just going to say that as a priority play, that uh, Graham could double move Black Cat, start of the turn, steal from Bullseye, because she's going to have power from the Infinity Formula, and mm -hmm. then walk away with it. Uh, but he's trying to figure out, can he do that and not get trucked by Rhino? Yeah, and I don't think there's anything, I mean, I guess Jacob could do the same, could threaten the same thing. Yeah. Double Waco. It's less good with Jacob though because he doesn't have Pryo. But I uh, guess if you see Graham do it, yeah, you can then also you... then do it back to him and just Mexican stand off a bit. Yeah, absolutely. Like be like, are we both stealing or <laughs> <laughs> are we both killing a black cat? I think that makes sense to me. And so I think I would be going with Rhino here as Jacob and saving Black Cat for my last activation. And then just seeing what yeah, I think I I think I agree. I guess so, the question is, do you move? Where do you put Rhino here? I assume you put him on the point, but if you put him on the point, on the top left point, mm -hmm. he doesn't. I don't think he commits Black Cat. 
Uh, I might still actually, because I was kind of looking at this. Uh, the downside to the double black cat charging is uh, Graham's kingpin with a cube can actually like make invalidate black cat pretty easily, or at least make her life really rough, right? Like if you hit the stun and the push, or just throw her away, can all really slow down what she does. And like Jacob's retaliation to a cat is just two attacks from right now, which isn't bad. But it's nothing crazy either. And so I'm a little nervous about the Black Cat plans because I think Graham can then just go with Kingpin, uh, neutralize Black Cat, and let his Black Cat tank a rhino. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe that's asking a lot. Of, I don't know. The math on new Black Cat is still weird for me. I haven't figured it all out. I don't know <laughs> what she should be expected to live through or not. I think if you do that, you... Um... Hmm. I, I think if he commits, like if they both commit their black cats here, and yeah. Graham activates Kingpin first to neutralize Jacob's black cat, I yep. actually think you go with Bullseye, you hit and run a knife, and then you run. Oh sure, yeah, that's a fair point. And go out. Why I'll do you wrestle think? Jacob put his rhino where he did, which looked he to be within three, three of bullseye. bullseye. Yeah. Wait, yeah. I don't know what that is. That's not okay. mission objective. Mission objective it's, wouldn't work. No, it's the leadership, but the timing on that doesn't oh. you know, have to be bullseye's activation, which I think he's threatening that if you don't go with black cat. Oh, it's kind of like what you were talking about yeah. with the knife play, but it's different. It's leaving bullseye there, passing it to rhino. And then putting two knives, it's like putting two knives into Black Cat and then yep. throwing the thing to Rhino. I think it's pretty good, actually. Okay. Yeah, uh, it makes sense. Actually, okay. yeah, because Bullseye, oh. Bullseye's oh. just off of, mm. Bullseye's going to start this next turn on four power. Uh, Three power. No, doesn't he have a cube, too? He had to pick up the Oh, he had to cube. pick up the cube. Right, 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 right. Okay, so Jacob does not commit Black Cat. Okay. Right. So I think this is just going to be steal out of Graham. Okay, we have to do our own scorekeeping here. So Graham is going to score five? And Jacob scores four? Yeah, I believe. Or no, nobody scores the top left, so both of those go. So it's four to three. No, it's, he's got it's five to three. Five. Yes. Five to three. Yeah, it's five for Graham, three for Jacob. All right, cool. I've got um, a notepad open. I'll keep track of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he didn't commit. I think the the play is really easy now, unless yeah. he thinks he can get. Rhino's not holding one. Ah, uh, it. If only he had like a little bit more aggressive. If he could threaten to walk in with Black Cat, steal, and pass it. But now she yeah, need, that's she doesn't have the power to do power. that. Yeah, that's a lot of power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I think Jacob's a little bit behind the eight ball here. He's falling behind already. Uh, so Bill did take his cube damage instead of paying to reduce, as did Kingpin. It looks like. I think that's what you do. So, here. Yeah, I think it's fine. Uh, Jacob's kingpin did the same thing. I like to take the damage, so uh, people are getting juiced up. Killmonger's already at four power. Uh, so I assume it's Graham here. It's just steal and run, right? I can't. Yeah, I can't imagine it's anything but steal and run. Like, Jacob doesn't have the resources up there to actually commit to that fight. Yeah, and like nothing else Graham has is in any amount of danger. I mean, like... I guess Rhino could, like, slide. No, he can't slide, because he only has two powers. I was thinking, like, it, 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 if it'd be Jacob's like... Rhino could slide forward and, like, chuck Bill into Bullseye and cause a ruckus back there, but yeah. he doesn't have the power for that. Well, I mean, he has, he has walk, bop... This is a robbery, but he needs to make one. Yeah. I think I would have liked to see his rhino stand on the point more. 
I mean, I don't like, I don't hate this line if he commits Black Cat, but if he doesn't commit Black Cat, I think he should have put Rhino on the point up top. I agree. Oh. All right. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Something's... Something's afoot. Do we not know the range of mission objective? It's definitely two. I'm pulling up. It is definitely two. And, okay. And Black Cat takes the objective. You can't play Oh, it. right. Mission objective is only on drop. It okay. doesn't work yeah. for two different reasons. I mean, okay. if Graham's got mission objective, uh, I, I imagine... I mean, if I'm in this... Uh, it looks like, what, patch up... Uh, all according to plan, this is a robbery, and I'm not sure what that other card is. It's not mission objective, though. No, it's not. Uh, I see two restricted stickers, uh, lovely restricted <laughs> stickers that were in the uh, in the swag bag here on Jacob's cards. Gorgeous. But, uh, so those are probably not mission objective. <laughs> okay, walk over here. Interesting. I mean, I like neutralizing Rhino. You know, I think he's just. I assume Throwing this is just going to be. Yeah, walk through. Check Rhino. Rhino. Walk back. Yeah, which I love. I love slowing down Rhino's early turns. Oh right, Jacob plays Indom. Oh. Uh, right. Okay. Um, that's interesting. He's going, it looks like he's going a short back, realizing that this, oh no, he's just going a medium. Does Bill have flight? Yeah, sure does. Well, of course he does. Okay, well, I mean. He's a Thor. I guess that's fair. Um, I'm always surprised that Hela doesn't have flight. Oh, yeah, same. Okay, so now, yeah, here's the pass. Man, I would love to ask Graham uh, why he didn't see open bullseye there. So pass one damage. Yeah, just Chuck Knives a cat. That's free value. <laughs> All right. All right. Three damage on cat. God, Bullseye's the man. When your worst case scenario is do one damage twice, it's so hard not to be valuable, is it, too? Yeah. Maybe Graham didn't think about the Kingpin leadership and thought, I guess throwing Rhino away is like similar to stealing. Right? Well, I mean, like, also just like, Rhino away. I'd be, if I was Graham, I would have been really worried about just like double run bullseye. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, even if you think you're disrupting that plan, it's still like. Or if you like, or just like walk, walk bullseye, throw it to Kingpin, and now all the objectives are on the bottom half of the board. Uh, yeah, well, the majority, not yeah, all. Not There'd all. There'd still yeah. be two. There's still, yeah. But I still think that's like what Jacob would want is to get the cubes down to the south side. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's, he's overcommitted down there, but if the objectives are all down there, he's not overcommitted. Yeah. Exactly. I'm very interested in what he's going to do here. Cat's in a little bit of trouble. Well, sort of. But, like, Rhino doesn't have any power. So, at most, he can walk attack a cat. No, he can attack attack a cat. No, he couldn't. Well, I mean, like... Well, I mean, now, well, now he, he can. can sorry, yeah. But, yeah, when but Black also, Cat was back on the point. Yeah, like, I still I don't like going with Black Cat here, I don't, I don't think. I don't either. Oh, he's going to steal and then back up and be out of three? Oh, okay, okay. That's does like, that get him out of three? I guess it does. Yeah, it does because, yeah. Um, Wait, it does it? Okay, what, it's... Uh, three is six inches. Uh, range one with a medium base and a range two, right? No, it, she's still way in. Yeah. Sorry, it's a small base range one. Uh, and like fallback doesn't work on. Oh, fallback 
does work on Rhino, right? If he's got fallback, but it doesn't look like he does. Yeah, I don't understand this uh, play. Yeah, it just... I mean, I guess he wants to make sure the objectives stay on the top side of the board, but it feels unforced going with Black Cat that early. Yeah, I think you can just sit on this Rhino activation for forever now. Yeah. Okay, there's discussing whether or not the truck is a size 4 or not. It is size 4, because this is all AMG terrain, except for the bushes. Yeah, that billboard is definitely AMG terrain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Any day now, they're going to call, and we're going to put it into mass production. Any day now. Hell, They've yeah. made the taco yep. truck for us. Like, they sure they did. <laughs> um, <laughs> Man. I don't know what Jacob does here. It's the thing. He kind of... Because I agree, waiting on Rhino seems sensible. Uh, it feels too early for King, Killmonger to go. Yeah. I think he just... He has to be slightly worried. Like, Rhino... Graham's Rhino could rob Kingpin at any point. I think you just go with your Rhino, right? Uh, Oh, right, because Bill already activated. I was like, yeah, I don't want to... But yeah, with it's Bill like... activated, yeah, I would go with Rhino here. Yeah, put both of them on the point. Just kind of commit that... So it sounds like yes cover. Yep. Uh, blocks all of it. He's teleported over here. Uh, no cover. He's got to be worse than a coin flip to get this, right? With the no crits. Got to be better. It's two hit points. Five. And... Well, he only need. Oh, he does need two to rob technically. Yeah. One damage. Yeah, it's it's just the kill is all he is going for there. Uh, all right, he gets one. 45%. Huh? You, were, you knew what you were saying. 45. 45. All right. Heck yeah. My internal math is so good. But if I you still count think that's both correct, attacks that together, bad. it's 62%. Okay. You count that the first one was in cover? I sure did. All right. Uh, yeah, hidden run here. Do you hidden run here with bullseye and try to contest that top left point and put your cube at risk, or do you? Oh no, you throw it to Bill. Yeah, you throw it to and, Bill, and I think I double just double walk. walking. Yeah, and deny as many points as possible and hold as much stuff over there. Graham sitting pretty. Jacob falling behind. Graham yet again assembling all the extracts onto Bill. Fair model. Fair model. And I think you start preventing damage here on Bill. Yeah. All right. Oh, Killmonger, Killmonger going, paying two for a charge. Oh, He's coming into Rhino. I would imagine so. Mm-hmm. Taking a Rhino. Yeah, I don't think you're going for your surper. You're just looking to soften some people up. No. Yeah. Alright. No blocks. Only two. Rough. So one damage. Rhino gets two power because of ornery. Uh oh, I don't think you walk onto the point again, dude. I think you just bop him again. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know about that. I was like, I'm like, I'm okay with backing up. I would bop him again. I'm okay with backing up. I think going there just gives yeah, him, he, grabs he, Kingpin something to do. Yeah, Kingpin just throws him off the point now. There's no point in... At least make Kingpin spend both actions doing it. Like, Kingpin now gets to build power off Killmonger, push him off the point. If he hits the stun early, ugh. Yeah, I mean, there's maybe an argument Kingpin doesn't want to build power here because he doesn't want to power up Killmonger. Mm-hmm. But, it, like, Graham has all the options in the world to decide, you know? Uh, I think you do bop him, because, like, he's standing on a point. He can usurp from zero power, and he's got one. 
Or sorry, he can he can't usurp from zero power. You can you can no. usurp on what he has now. Yeah, but he can't usurp and charge. But he doesn't need to. He's in melee with everybody, so like well, he's, he's gonna chuck him. Like just yeah. don't attack him. Chuck him. Well, I think you bop him and see if you get it for free. Wait, there's a risk there. Listen, I I've watched a lot of people walk into the killmonger trap of just bopping him, getting all according, and just fucking housed. Because that dude scales with power pretty well. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Just throw him and he can't charge in. Yeah, definitely. He can't like charge double. and usurp. He has to pick between the two. Yeah. And like those two usurp VPs are a big way Jacob gets back into this. Because Graham has a lead from turn one, right? Mm. The five to three split is really good from Graham. And it's looking he's, like and he, looks like he's gonna he will be able to do top. something similar. Yeah. So like making sure Usurp stays far away is also, I think, very beneficial for Graham. So like if you hit the stun, obviously everything feels great. But if you don't, you could really backfire. Yeah, and Jacob missing the coin flip top hurts. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, it does. Uh, what am I doing here? I want another action to walk for the headbutt. I don't have one. All right. Hits the stun and the push. Uh, oh, five hits? Holy crap. Stun and the push. Uh, I think you might be far enough ahead to let Killmonger usurp here. Kind of depends on how the next of this goes. I don't know. With that spike, I might have left him in place and hailed. Because you're probably not getting usurped if you hail the king. Oh. Okay. Is he? Kingpin backs up off the point. Yeah, I mean, that kind of makes sense. He doesn't want Cat to steal his thing. Though, I think Graham's Rhino is in a very good place to punish Cat for doing that. I guess Jacob has last activation, so he could waffle with Kingpin. Rhino has to do something, and then Black Cat could walk steal. Mm -hmm. I think if you're... Hmm. Man, the double all according. I assume that Jacob has all according, but I don't know. Kingpin lists are now not playing all according all the time. Uh, yeah, I assume he has it because of the Killmonger. It's yeah, like makes sense to me. he's such a squishy boy. All according is how you actually keep him alive. You know, that's like his survival tech to make sure he goes off when you want to go off. This is a cat clause. Yeah, a cat scratching right now. One damage, two power. Yeah. And can take which the auto, if which bleeds wants. him, right? She has damage. If damage, then bleed. Yeah, the new one does. Um, see if they catch that. It's a brand new change. I mean, there's yeah. two Black Cat players on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully one of them figures out that Rhino should be bleeding. Um, not looking good. Not looking great. Uh, I'm surprised no aggressive trigger here. He might still be thinking about the aggressive. It's somewhat hard to tell when you can't see him. Because I feel like you could get a much better line on this. I agree. Yeah, I think with a short walk, the slide would get you onto the point. I guess it doesn't matter if it gets on the point. You just got to get to Kingpin. But still, the aggressive yeah, seems might, free. might get you to within one. And then yeah, you can just rob and then run back to the other point. Be like, see a Kingpin. Uh, oh, right. Right. Has so much power. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's been dealt one damage twice and is standing on an infinity formula. <laughs> Pretty cool. And if he can get back to where he is with two power. 
Okay, so Stampede, probably a bop on KP. Okay, some double check some some power about, math. Yeah, power. Yeah. Yep. Pop Kingpin. Oh yeah, you can see Kingpin over the truck. And he's yep. within two to avoid cover. Yep. Uh, it looks like Kingpin just naturally blocked all of it. Yep. Uh, I think you just I don't know if you give Kingpin another bop or you just throw him away and yeah he's going for the yeah. robbery I don't really know what the right answer is either but this yeah, I don't know if there's fine. any value in attacking him again I don't think so because right, if you spike it you're getting hailed to the king Currently, it looks like well, we got some fun autofocus stuff going on <laughs> here. Uh, thank God. Okay. Threw him that way. Sting. It'd be really funny if we had to commentate the rest of this game yeah. blurry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we don't. <laughs> I'd be really grateful for Jacob's paint job, so that would make it a lot easier. be like oh i think that's kingpin uh graham thinking about his last action uh, seeing if he can punch kingpin while staying on the point which hill of the king costs three or four uh three i believe oh wait kingpin can only oh. throw size three now right oh right yep hill of the king yep. got changed like forever ago yep yeah, All right, yep, so yep. this is actually really good. The best Kingpin can do is, like, walk, walk back on. Uh, yes, because <laughs> the wild push on headbutt's also size 3, so Kingpin cannot move size 4s under any circumstances. Okay, then, yeah, the second bop here seems really good. Did one damage, looks like. Mm-hmm. And Rhino takes a damage for bleed. There we go. Oh, that's the he bleed. Did not. Oh, he's no, not. I'm. He should have. Okay. The wound tokens and the new bleed token, I know, look pretty similar to each other. It's like just the yes. shape inside the square that yes. is different. The bleed damage has like an actual blood drop shape to it, where these kind of look like Pac-Man ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Kingpin has to come contest this You walk up, you bop him, and you throw this taco truck at him. Because uh, that yeah. taco truck's being thrown at you otherwise. Is... <laughs> uh, okay, he's going for the Hail of the King, which, you know, still staggers right now, which I don't hate. Yeah, but... Uh... Yeah, I mean, I, I would have uh, punched and thrown the truck for sure, but... Staggering Rhino has its own benefits. It helps. It does. I think Jacob's stop just, him from running. I think Jacob's just playing too defensively. He needs to be the aggressor here. Yeah. And that's that's a really interesting thing. So, like, obviously, this game is very weird. I can imagine the number of people, even that play Kingpin regularly, that have Kingpin mirrors under their belt is probably pretty yeah. low. Like, I can't imagine either of these guys have ten games in this matchup or anything close to that. Yeah. Well, and like. In shorthand version, you would expect the Kingpin player that has last activation to be the control player, right? Like, normally when people shorthand control versus control, they say whoever goes last is gets to be more of a scenario team because they can throw people off points and what have you. Uh, but in this case, because of how the eyes of the prize split happened, it's actually the reverse, where Graham is the control player is here and Jacob needs to... Zero turn? Oh, it's all okay. five cubes, cube, 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 two on Bill, cube. one on Cat. There's not a cube on Cat. And one on King. Oh, there was on Cat. She just died. Yeah, she just died right. to that cube damage. 
So that's five, and then this point, this point, seven. That point up there is tied. Up. As far as I can tell, yes. That is, so it is 12 to three. That is brutal. But yeah, yeah like I, it's so hard to... like One of the most important things in playing MCP well is like understanding the tempo of the game. Yeah. And like what you have to do in response. So like, I think the like, are you the beat down conversation that people have is too often just from like the start of the game perspective. Yes. And that you should be constantly reevaluating. Do I need to commit? Do I need to push my chips in? How much time left do I have to win the game before I lose? And do I need to pivot my plan? Uh, I'm surprised Bill took damage from cubes that now. So like, uh, um, Graham has a bunch of he took fragile like he took characters. One, he has three wounds on him. That is three wounds. Oh yeah, that's yeah. yeah like yeah. I watched him put them out there, and like look how much power he has too. It's uh, definitely. I mean, I guess he's not under a ton of threat here. Yeah, but it just feels like you're. Uh incurring debt that does not need to be <laughs> incurred because <laughs> that damage will come back yeah i guess i would just spend and just like with my plan to be that's okay so what's the score 12 to three all the three so he needs three points to win bills four. two of it or four points yeah. to win bills two of it yeah i mean i think you put bill I in want... the corner yeah i want as much health on that dude as possible yeah Maybe yes. he has the timing wrong and thinks that, like, the cubes happen... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm just the dumbest person alive. Cubes happen in cleanup. Yeah, they changed cubes. Yeah, I'm still, so like, cubes in power it. phase. Oh, he okay. has to take it. He has to take it. God, Sorry, we're such, Graham. We're such a bunch of grognards over here. We're so... <laughs> such <laughs> Too old to play. Well, I know, like, when I do commentary, I always assume the players know more than I do because that's generally true. And so I was trying to figure out what he had going on that I was missing. And no, it turns I'm, out, I'm so I forgot smart. the update. Keep. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you need to be balanced out by your co-commentator. Man. Uh, yeah. I mean, this line that Graham's looking at, I like a lot. This hop, run, run with cat. Oh, uh, well, I mean, she doesn't have anything to run. Oh, hop, grab that cube. Yes. That she dropped. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Cause she dazed the cube in the cleanup part. is now injured. Has five power, which is plenty. And that's the only cube over there, so... I don't know if I like going back towards your table edge. Uh, I guess maybe I that's think fine. if he doesn't, Rhino gets her per, for free. Yeah, I guess his I guess Rhino... His Rhino's, his I Rhino's don't on hate... three power. Like... Uh... I actually think Graham running his cat towards his rhino, oh, like just and then straight he's gonna, south. He's gonna maybe he's gonna hand the thing, to, the cubes to Bill. Oh yeah, she's got enough power to do that. Does this is a robbery drop all objectives? Oh, let's find out. Or I believe just so. one. I think it drops all, so you probably don't actually pass it. Yeah, it drops any objective tokens it's holding. Yeah, I think he could run like straight south from here, and then like his Jacob's rhino is kind of hemmed in by the bullseye, which makes it hard for him to line up the bull push he would need to to chase you. But looks like yeah, I don't know. Uh, he might have like bop bullseye, jump to the other side, slide bop cat. Well, that's Jacob's bullseye. No, both bullseyes are right there next to the rhino. Oh, you say like to chase this one. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like hop to the other side, right, then slide, then bobcat, then robbery bill. All right, because that's a full health rhino. I don't know if bill gets that done. Although I guess maybe I'm underestimating walk god slayer throw. Right, it's it's called god slayer? Yeah. Err, no, that's the Gamora one. You're right. The Goo Slayer, right? Yeah. Uh, God Hunter. God please. Hunter. Oh, how could I be so foolish as to have forgotten the name of this ability? 
or if you will, Goo Hunter. <laughs> Goo Hunter, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's just Alex. Did he mistype or could he just not read the card? It looks like goo. Every time I look at the card, it looks like goo to me too. It's not just a bots thing. The Bio. font they use does not do a good job differentiating between the O's and D's. Okay, right, so it looks like Cat ran. Uh, what did she spend her power on? Because she didn't pass the thing. Um, I mean, she to hop she, one to pick up. She had five, right? Yeah, she definitely had five. I don't know what else she could spend one power on. Would have been two power. Two to hop, one to pick oh, up. Wait, two two remaining. Pick up. I don't. Uh oh. Uh, patch up. Yep. Patch up. Yep. 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 Top. Yep. 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 Bill's you, got a lot. Bill. Yeah. Bill's got. Two of his health back. That's one damage. Yep. All right. Like that. that seems really hard to untangle. All right. Uh, we got to charge this... back into this rhino. Oh. Coming from Killmonger. Oh, I guess he didn't have the power to. Uh, looks like that's a pretty good roll out of Killmonger 4 so far. He takes one damage. Oh, boy. He has uh, two damage, uh, it looked like. Uh, he only put one power on Killmonger's card. Uh, okay, interesting. Maybe they... Because right, he was at four, charged down to two, up to Maybe one. Maybe I missed... And I don't it remember how much like he put two damage on. Yeah. Oh, Maybe boy. he was like making change. Oh, no, he's stunned. He's stunned from Kingpin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The headbutt stunned him. Okay. Brian has got one health. He's going yeah, for the Usurp. Definitely Usurp here. Absolutely. He's going to have him, yeah. five, six, seven, eight, nine dice, ten dice, nine dice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> them helping each yeah. other out. I yep. love when he's Nine like, dice, not seven dice. <laughs> uh, hopefully can do one damage to Rhino. Zero blocks. Okay. Oh, okay. Jacob just said I rolled one shield, <laughs> which is like, but everything else is a hit. Long pause, oh, but everything else is a how hit. How would I know that? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that's two points for Jacob. Uh, so it is 12 to 5 at the moment. Man, I think you... This is too I much mean, just trying to cash power his he points in. To pick up. Kill count token. You gotta pick this up, right? I would think so, but he doesn't. Well, I guess Graham doesn't have anybody that can come get it. But I still think you have to pick it up just to free up kingpin just, to be able to go it's also power neutral on killmonger i think you just need i also just think this is wrong out of killmonger why um i think you need i guess he got there in one i don't know i just think that like now you have nothing that can touch kingpin i guess like i think that was true before <laughs> okay Yeah, you put you put Kingpin in the corner, right? Because she doesn't have walk hop, does she? She's got seven power. Oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, she definitely has walk hop. Which I think is what Jacob's kind of relying on here, is that wherever Graham's Kingpin goes, she can, Kat can steal. probably chase and steal. I mean, how much power does Graham's KP have? Do you think he can Charge walk and hail her? Because Hail to the King shuts down Black Cat now. Uh, yeah. Right, as long as you throw from outside of one and you throw as far as possible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, is Hail throw short or medium? I don't know. Short. Remember. Okay. But she comes back only two. Yeah, short's longer than two. I was just curious. Yep. Uh, dice are being rolled somewhere. Yeah. 
Three damage on Bullseye. It looks like Bullseye this and Bullseye. Bullseye, on bullseye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you. I think that dazed him. Yeah. I mean, I think you gotta take out activations whenever you can, and Bullseye is just the man to do it. I would not throw a knife into Rhino. Oh, he's going to go for the push. He's going to go for the pin cushion here. Uh, I don't hate that. I don't love it. <laughs> <laughs> I I would be worried about this, like the aggressive. I'm a little bit worried about it, but I also think that, like, I don't know if you do yeah, that just... now. Bill has really good odds to just kill. Rhino, if Rhino commits. Oh, and I forgot Rhino's... Bill got healed, which makes me feel better about this. Yeah, Bill's on five. Because before, I was worried about Rhino coming in and just killing Bill, but that's a much bigger ask now. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't uh, think uh, Rhino is attacked in one damage. Like... Hey, that bleed got, got yeah. out there. Well, yeah, it's auto bleed on the spender. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I guess it was auto bleed on it. Whatever. You know what? <laughs> it's fine. Who knows how Black Cat works? Not me. Uh. There's the aggressive goodbye rhino. You get to do your fucking Smash Brothers overlay. That may or may not make sense depending on what happened to the recording of last round. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, no damage it looks like on the second throw and no power to make it damage. So. Alright, well, worst case scenario here, but also like that wins bullseye that point well, i think that was happening anyways but yeah i guess that's true i do think that killing his bullseye was killing bullseye was great yeah yeah yeah, yeah. super and duper I don't see how that. jacob gets out of this i don't either it's <laughs> a big deficit to overcome but like so i think i would be going with black cat as jacob to steal that cube because I would be dealing them terrified of the hail to the king thing, which maybe he doesn't see it, but yeah, like a walk up and hail from Kingpin if he's in range to do so, which it looks like he is, but I guess it's kind of close. Maybe they measured that and we missed it, but the walk up hail seems kind of disastrous. Yeah. It... And I also think if Black Cat like walks up, steals, and hops back to Kingpin, doesn't do a lot to threaten her. Yeah, once he's once he's got it. Ugh. Oh no. I don't love this. Wait, who's picking up that cube? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, no, no. <laughs> Absolutely had to grab that with Killmonger now. I, I I just totally assumed it was like oh a cat can go get it but then cat's not stealing from Kingpin. Oh here we oh. go. He okay. said he just All forgot right. to pick right. up the cube with Kingpin. It happens. He lets him have it. Yeah, board state hasn't changed. Like I'm, I, it's a pretty reasonable take back to give, but you know. You gotta be watching that shit. I would I kinda wouldn't fault Graham either way on his decision there for the take back, so I don't either. I think just Graham is just so in control of this game. What for sure. is the Oh no, actually no, I love this. Never mind. Yeah. Walk, throw throw Rhino away medium. Walk back. <laughs> Move <laughs> Where is he though? <laughs> <laughs> what are you throwing back there, buddy? Yeah, get him. Get to the tactics cards. Trying to see, can he get him away from Bullseye? The answer is no, but that's fine, I think. Yeah, I mean, he he's got to spend an action cubes. to get to Bill. Go back to where he was, yeah. Uh, As we know, Bill has flight, so very easy to get back where he was. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, now... Uh, Rhino could do the thing you were talking about where you punch Bullseye, slide, punch someone else. Why are you walking when you could punch Bullseye? Maybe he's not over the corner and it, it totally hoses Yeah, him, but... that's true. It could be hard to see what's going on back there. 
But I like I actually like. I mean, if that's the case, can't you get up on the terrain? Well, there's that skylight you put there, like a good TO that may whatever. I could balance him. Sure, I believe it. <laughs> it looks like he just wants to. Yeah, see, I liked punching Bullseye because you only have to do three damage to him, and it stops Graham from scoring a point. And every every bit you can do to slow the bleeding down, I think, is very helpful. Yeah, I, th- I think you needed to make that happen. I mean, maybe he just doesn't have it. Maybe, yeah, that's true. It's it is hard to see around Luigi's mansion. Yeah, because if you get him, get Cat, which I mean, you're not likely to for either of those things to happen, but. Oh, he's punching Bill, which I think makes sense. He needs to get the double. I think he wants to try to like kill Bill here. If he spikes real high, then he can rob Cat and make an incredible comeback. Uh, that's a really good roll. Mm-hmm. Two crits, three hits. Six hits. Six on seven. Can't be mad. Oh, cover. No damage. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Yikes. Uh, rough. Dude, I think rough, you're getting rough, too rough, over, rough, man. Rough, rough. Uh, how much power does Rhino have here? Uh, two. two. Oh, no. He can make him drop the cubes, but he can't collect them. I think that had to go at Cat. I think you're more likely to kill Cat, right? Let's find out. And then this guy is especially because Cat doesn't have cover. Robbery. Yeah, I think you're more likely to kill Cat. Probably. Kill Cat, robbery Bill, because you're gonna rob. Yeah, robbery God. Bill. <laughs> All these numbers are bad. All right. <laughs> He is 8% to have killed Cat and 2% to have killed Bill. Oh my god, really? It's 8% 7 dice to do 5 damage? 7 hexed dice is yeah, yeah, not yeah. a good place to be. Yeah. Needing 5 damage on just 7 dice, so you just have to you have to roll 5 hits to even be in the discussion. Yeah. Which is pretty low odds For, to begin with. Yeah. Without so, the explosion. Killing either of them pretty unlikely god bad luck is just so good now uh the other advantage of hitting cat in your plan is that basically at all levels he's more likely to do damage and get more power yes because like he really needs two power and i think he's way more likely to do two damage to cat than he is to do two damage to bill by a lot yeah 67 versus 26 yeah so and if he gets those then he can pick up the robbery yep yeah i think you're right you had to punch cat there but i need a vision you know when you're this far behind yeah take your long odds because yeah the bill had a much higher payout right like if that Mm -hmm. happens looks like we got to walk up just outside of one this has got to be hail right uh, he should be within one. He was on the point and walked away once, I thought. No, with a, outside of one of Cat, I think. Oh, yes, definitely outside of one of Cat. Uh, I, yeah, I would expect this to be a hail on Cat. Yep, here we go. Looks like it. It's like a hail amount of dice. Oh, Blocks this must have been into King Gun. Oh, it's into. I think he rolled four. Yeah, four. With... I see two crits in there. That's hard to tell. Yeah, left I guess and we'll bottom see. are full filled in circles. Okay, no, it was Cat. It was Cat. It was Cat. Okay. Yep. Uh... Yeah, he's now realizing that this actually screws him. <laughs> oh, man. He's like, oh, 
But you'll just be able to move back and steal. No, you won't be able to. It's an action now. Yeah. Oh, boy. Hail of the King's such a good attack. Dude, Hail of the King's incredible. Every time the people play Ursa Major and they realize that he yeah. has better Hail to the King, people are like, wait, hang on. I think this bear spender is legit. <laughs> <I'm> like, yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Problem is the bear's maybe? defensive stats are set in a way uh, where it kind of and... always assumes you're in Dynamo Aura. He's got enough health. It's fine. Whatever. This is yeah. not the time to argue about Ursa oh, Major. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't... Uh... Uh, okay, it looks like Kingpin also has enough power to throw a Kingpin, so Kingpin is thinking about where to throw a Kingpin. You just throw, her, throw him in a cat, right? Uh, yep. I was just like, does it do anything? No, she already has more than enough power. Yeah, she has so much power, like whatever. She doesn't scale, you know, she's hit her break points. Uh, Kingpin shouldn't take any damage from this. Okay, he Come on, pays Jacob. for a brace on both when he doesn't need to. All right. Yeah, it doesn't stop for I was like, didn't change that on Kingpin, honest. Didn't know. Yeah. Cat shaking stagger. I don't love the brace there, but I mean, it's just a valued brace, but it doesn't like cat couldn't possibly die to that. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if it changes anything either way. No, that's true. Mock there, cat claws hoping to roll four crits to put it back in the game. Crazier things have happened. Oh, he's changing his mind to Troublemaker. <laughs> this does, uh, I mean, no. The Elusive can get you into steel range, but you can't, you can't steal. steal. I guess it's for next turn. All right, well, what's Graham's scoring looking like? He's got one, two... Three for sure because he's got one on KP, one on he's Black the, Cat. I think he just has the two cubes, right? And he's the two cubes in the bullseye oh, right. thing. Bullseye. So that's three for. That's fifteen. That's fifteen, yeah. Um, Frelinger bought himself a turn. And so let's see. Jacob scores the Killmonger point for one, a cube for one. And so Jacob just gets two, I think. Uh, two points. Oh, right. Black Cat's injured, so his Rhino scores. Hmm. So eight points for Jacob, right? One, two, three. Yeah. It's there, there. That's the tie. Right. Um. Okay, fifteen to eight is what I think the eight. score is. Yes. Okay. Uh. Yikes. Still really tough. Yeah. In really bad shape i think you i think you go with rhino here try to squish cat God, uh, rhino has like rhino has two power Ugh. okay let's think about damage blocks yeah, grandma's has prior still right yeah oh yeah well i guess jacob could steal it how <laughs> don't think he can do anything if he does steal it but he could steal it does he oh yeah because bullseye is probably on like six power i assume a good number yeah <sighs> but maybe he didn't bring all according that doesn't quite his last card up there doesn't look like all according to me you can kind of see it when the shadow passes over. yeah uh production values this is why you should all play your cards face down. <laughs> yeah, so everybody... We have a lot of Graham games. Everybody should learn from Graham's lesson. Except put them closer to the camera. <laughs> put everything as close to the camera as possible. <laughs> yeah, if they could just flip that clock around, that'd be ideal for me. <laughs> I don't think this game is going to go to clock. I don't think so either. But I'm curious. <laughs> that would give us another thing to vamp about. What do you leave right. with here as Graham? I don't, I mean, there's, I kind of don't hate Bill just walking and grabbing the two cubes and walking away. Yeah. I also don't hate Rhino trying to kill Killmonger. 
Oh, actually, I really like the build play because enemy Rhino only has two power, so can't slide at you. Mm. Yeah, really easy to get out here. Yeah, and then you're just like, can build tank a punch from Rhino? It's like, I, God, I hope so. <laughs> it's kind of his thing. I also want to know if Graham intentionally left the cape off his bill or if his bill broke. I think people who skip Is that why his bill looks so different? <laughs> yeah, there's no cape. All right, yep. Yeah. And he has the power left for damage reduction. Yeah, that feels really good. Yeah, I think that model's very safe. Uh, I think you got to go with Killmonger here as Jacob. Yeah, I was, like, I was like, Black Hat could get over there and steal a cube off of him, but that doesn't change. You know, Graham only needs one point to win, so. Uh, yeah, and no, eight. it's only Rhino that can attack him. Because Bullseye's too far away, Killmonger. Yeah, Killmonger's activation is just bad here. There's no way. Okay. Uh, how much? Oh, Killmonger doesn't have any power. I was just like, can a Killmonger walk, charge, range three, spender into Bill? I don't think so. But no that does way. go quite a distance. But he doesn't have the power. Like, it's a moot point because he has no power anyways. But it's... Here is the promise. Here is... Uh, steel from It's Kent. 19 inches. That's a pretty That's a pretty good distance. There's, that's way more than 19 inches. Yeah, it is. Joke. Heh. <laughs> Joke. Uh, I guess Cat stole... Yeah, Cat stole Kits. from Kingpin. Hopped, walk. That's a... Ugh, I guess I don't, I don't know now, but that feels like a play for tie breaks move and not a how do I win this game move. Yeah. I Which think like, you know, fair. Rhino is yeah. such good odds to kill one of these characters. Well, the thing I'm now majorly concerned about is that, like, Graham's cat can just stagger Rhino. Oh, yeah. And then it's just. Over. And then Bill's just. Alive for you know, like that's just like just what if I just up. took dice out of the question entirely? Man, what a wild character when she can get to power every turn. Yeah, uh, Infinity Cubes, good place to play Black Cat. Turns out, yeah. they both had this idea. <laughs> Black Cat's just so good, man. I yeah, I, love I am... what they did with that model. I am, like, so we've been jokingly saying, what a great cat buff. Yeah. And she is definitely more fair, but also, man, that model just seems way better. <laughs> she just, like, is more toolboxy. Yeah. Because she doesn't die when something looks at her. But I guess also when you look at her, she doesn't steal four cubes from you. No. Yeah, they, they toned down her most abusive case and made her average turn, I think, better and also, more importantly, more interesting. <laughs> oh, God. The staggered kingpin is about to just do so much work. I don't stagger the rhino. I don't want to know why he's not staggering that rhino. I want to guarantee Bill is alive. Oh, wait, never mind. Again, Graham, smarter than me when it comes to playing this list. If you stagger a rhino, you just give him a third power, and then he can slide. No, uh, there you go. <laughs> you give him better uh, chance to kill Bill. Yeah. I'm, I mean, it's not. No, it is just strictly better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm... All right. Not a CS player. Trusting in Graham from here on out. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm with you now, and then I'm going to go with Rhino and try to just... Uh... You go with Rhino and try to kill Killmonger, or you go with your Kingpin and throw his Kingpin in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, I like going with Rhino, I think. Yeah, I mean, especially because Jacob's burnt brace. Yeah. He's oh, going okay. with the KP. 
I mean, this is. Oh, he's going to go with Kingpin and he's going to try to throw the. Okay. Into Man, if only Jacob had brace. <laughs> Don't brace for value, people. Brace for yeah, brace protecting for... activations. Yeah, absolutely. Have a plan when you play brace. I'm very confident now that Graham's last card is indomitable. All right. Good block. Takes one, lives on two. Uh, oh, yeah, that's definitely Colossus' shiny head. It's that big flat top. No, yeah, I guess you charge it. Kingpin here. No. Yeah. I would be spendering. No, I... To tell. Oh, I was going to follow up with the... I he guess... doesn't have the power to... Like, I would just Black Ops Strike yeah. Kingpin, be on the set of Kingpin, Builder Kingpin. Because that, like, if this fails yeah. to do a damage, you have to choose between. And it looks like it did. Jeez, you're yeah. a yep. disaster. Killmonger has a lot of lines. He's not like sequencing his attacks actually has some interesting choices to it, and he has like cool ways to get around fallback and shit. I'm also thinking too much about like using the Wakanda leadership. I was like, I want to buy a reroll though. He doesn't have that. Oh, no, he does not. <laughs> but... Killmonger's place is, on his spender is automatic. It's the stagger that's wild, right? That is correct. Or, sorry, the spender has to deal damage to place. Hmm. So I, I guess... think Jacob's line was better. Because uh... if you don't do damage... Like, yeah, you have two more dice, but if you don't deal damage, you don't get the other attack. <sighs> and you can't walk onto the point. Right, because he only had four power. He only had four yeah. power, so yeah, he yeah, needs yeah, the yeah. charge That's right. to deal one. Yep. Because otherwise he doesn't get the line at all. Okay. Yep. Players smarter than commentators. Mm. Okay. Something's. It looks like the stagger is happening. Oh, yeah. That's the elusive. Yep. Yep. So he's staggering, but has four power now. And then Black Hat got the elusive. I guess if Black Hat runs to the other corner, Graham wins either way. <laughs> oh, and then the aggressive. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know if the aggressive... The aggressive actually does meaningfully change this. It does. Ugh. I mean, she should still be able to just split Rhino's attention. Yeah, right. I mean, like if and he also runs behind the mansion. these attacks anyway, because he's Bill. But... Oh, he didn't take it. Interesting. Bullseye on bullseye. Mm -hmm. I think Jacob's not playing for the win anymore. I think he's playing for tie breaks. I don't know why you wouldn't take that aggressive if you're playing for... I don't either. Maybe he's. I think he's thought just thought it got totally, him further away. I think he's totally comfortable just standing on the point for. Nah, he's going in. So bullseye pin cushion bullseye. Uh, did two damage to bullseye. Bullseye is using that two power to parting shot bullseye and has done one damage to bullseye. All right. Well, technically he can't yet if it's pin cushion. Uh, yep. He's breaking line of sight. 
Oh, Jacob. Don't let him do this. Don't let him do this to you, buddy. That's not how any of this works. Attacking effects resolve first. Nope, not letting uh, him make the second attack. Ugh. Yuckerino. I don't think it matters. Uh, probably yeah. wouldn't change who wins this game, yeah. but it's not inconsequential. That's rough. Yeah, it's super rough. Yeah, JB, you don't need to be beating yourself up for not no for not hit and running here. There's no reason no. to assume yeah. that you wouldn't get both attacks. Yeah, so I guess to explain it while we have some time here, mm -hmm. pin cushion has rapid fire after the attack is resolved to make another attack. Parting shot says after an attack targeting his character resolve, you can use it and then move. The attacker attacks resolve first, so you would do the pin cushion attack. Then the second put in cushion attack, and then bullseye enemy bullseye would have two chances to parting shot. So he could parting shot twice at the end if he's alive and move away short twice. Yeah. But he has to wait for both of the attacker effects to resolve before Which he gets here a chance. He absolutely wouldn't be able to, because bullseye has a power. Why well, bullseye got two power? No, the, his, uh, Jacob's bullseye has w at least one power on him. Oh, 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 oh. And the opposing yes. bullseye has yes. one hit point, which means one just making yes. the attack kills him. Kills bullseye. Yep. Brutal. Complicated game. A lot of rules. Yep. No, oh, Jacob, no! Jacob, keep your no. mouth shut. No. All right. Uh, since they can't hear the audio, uh, no. freaking Graham walked up and targeted his bullseye, and then Jacob goes, "How many health does your bullseye have?" And Graham quickly realized how parting shot worked. <laughs> I was like, "I don't want to do that." Uh, <laughs> and then didn't make the take. You gotta let him face plant, buddy. Yeah. You're only you gotta play to your outs. Oh. All right, so yeah, actually, both of these. That changes points, too, because uh, Graham's bullseye is healthy. Yes, it does. It does change points twice. Ugh. Well, if Graham wins by two, <laughs> we can go ahead We're and call it up, Sam. We're going to fix here. the. All right. Oh, this is uh, it's uh, Cruel Tutelage. Chris, this card's cool tutelage. tutelage. Let's go. This card's great. More yeah, but CS like, players he might be, be in this. Tutelage. This yeah. wildly changes the math. Sure does. This is 10 dice. Ah. Uh, <laughs> three blocks coming. Uh, so six hits coming out of Jacob, but... Uh, three blocks coming out of uh, Graham's bill and a damage reduction to reduce it by four. Take only two. He has another attack. No, he doesn't. What? He slid. Stagger. Oh, right, right, right. Which I also think <sighs> if he had aggressived that angle we were talking about before, he could have slid and not destroyed the size two and mm. have a size two to chuck here as well. Yeah. Uh, but Bill's got three health left. Uh, literally can't die to that. Play to your outs. Yeah, absolutely. Play I mean, to yes, what's the dice that happened, but he could have he could have rolled more dice here, or mm -hmm. done more damage. You know what I mean? I thought for a second when he smashed those two things that it was Rhino in a china shop. I was like, why is that in your list? <laughs> no, yeah, it's tut tutelage is an incredibly good card. It is. It's good on Killmonger, obviously. It's good on Rhino when you need him to do stuff. It's really good on Black Cat if you just want your Black Cat to roll seven dice pierce and get a bunch of power going. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, it is a problem solver card. Yeah, so Grams needs one point, has three, four with his current lie. And I think he has really good odds to kill Killmonger here. 
throwing a car at Cat with Rhino. I guess Cat is more of a point swing. Yeah. Go around to Kingpin? Yeah, he's using to get over to Killmonger. Where is this Rhino going? He's going to the top right point. There's no way he gets there in one slide. He has a walk, too. He just... Oh, he doesn't walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Destroys a bush. Okay. That makes more sense. Oh, and Jacob just has a kingpin left, it looks like. Yeah. He's going to be able to double walk to nowhere. Jacob's on eight points, so yeah, that top left doesn't really matter. It doesn't really change things. Yeah. yeah. All right. Looks like Graham's got this. Um, huh. We screwed up score somewhere, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. We got who won, right? All right. Yeah, we were off by one on Jacob somewhere. Or maybe they were off. Who knows? I think the big takeaway from this game is, like, realizing when you have to push models harder into the fight. Yes. And that... Um, yeah, and just, like, learning to read the tempo of the game and then we had some fun rules lessons in there yeah but i think yeah that... i mean you good called it from turn one that you felt jacob was playing a little bit too defensively right when like he didn't commit his black cat that you and i both really wanted to see um and i think that was just kind of generally true and the story of this game was that uh jacob was playing a normal like a normal kingpin game plan right like that's clearly what he normally does on infinity cubes, but with like the point deficit he was in and the way the cubes had fallen, couldn't play that way and needed to adjust game plans. All right. I think that's going to do it for us guys. Like, and subscribe. I got more of these coming out. Uh, I'm Vince. That's Nate. And don't forget the funds of finite resource. <laughs> All right. I want to stop.